Um, name it and claim it gospel. Angels. Health and wealth gospel. Aliens. Evolution. Let's talk about that. To talk about us, the Lord is. Yeah. yeah, good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday. <laughs> it's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Be careful out there. Uh, Takis, Blue Heat, not a sponsor. So, uh, name it and claim it gospel, um, angels, uh, health and wealth gospel, aliens, evolution, uh, spells and casting, uh, let's see, naturalists, um, uh, what else? Anyway, uh, cut out half the Bible because you don't agree with it. Um, you know, try to suppress the truth. Um, all those kind of good things. Yeah, change the history. So, all those, uh, to me, in the same category. They're deceitful. They, they take you away from what's really out there. Uh, now, there are angels, but... People worship angels or worship, you know, ghosts or things that they see. Um, and so all these, the, the sole purpose of all these is to take you away from God. Take you and, and distract you and deceive you and, and bring about the idea that, oh, we don't, we don't need a God who, who, you know, blah, 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 fill in the blank. And so uh, we get deceived and we go off and we're like, well, we don't need God because we understand this more or we'll put our faith in science uh, more than what God has in store for us. And so we keep going down these paths, which really take us away from God. And we think it's it, we think it's wise. We think, you know, oh, it's it's great knowledge. It's, you know, we're puffing ourselves up. Uh, we know better than God. And then we just start going down that road and it's pretty wide and a lot of people are there and God says the pathway to him is, is narrow, you know, um, the straight and narrow and not many people are there. Why? Because we have to have faith and faith sometimes, uh, even though God is not the God of confusion, sometimes faith cannot be explained. That's why it's called faith. We don't need to explain. We just need to trust God that he's there and, and faith is there. So in first Timothy four, one, um, it was happening all the way back in Paul's time. They were following these deceiving spirits. They were, de they were following these uh, teachings of demons. And Paul was addressing that all the way back then, that they, these people were following things that God did not even say, or adding words to it, or uh, interpreting it in their own eyes instead of letting the word just interpret itself. And so it says here, now the Spirit expressly says that in later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teaching of demons. Dude, Paul, like, he didn't mix any words. He's like, what you're believing in is deceitful and from demons. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's pretty harsh. And I'm glad sometimes we, we do need to be a little harsh because we need to wake up and say, look, we should not be following this. We should be following God. We should have faith and we should be strong in our faith. And if God didn't say it, and if we, if we don't take it and manipulate it for our own benefit, our itching ears, then we shouldn't be following it. Anything outside of what God has said, anything outside of faith in God, not faith in demons, not faith in witchcraft, not faith in angels, not faith in other things of this world, or faith in misinterpreting the Bible, we should put our full faith in Jesus Christ, our full faith, our full trust, and yes, God says, test what I've said. And it does work. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, um, all these things work. Like, there's no law against those things. And yet, we go around and have these deceitful spirits that we believe in and these teachings of demons, and we should just stop because we should be following Jesus, not our interpretations. So, my encouragement for you today is 
Are you following deceitful spirits and demons, or are you following Jesus and what he said to do? And have faith in him. Even if we can't explain it sometimes, faith is stronger than all the other things that this world has to offer. I love you. Jesus loved you too. You have a great Tuesday. Oh, it's almost Thanksgiving. Well, happy Thanksgiving if I don't see it. All right, love you. Bye.